my friends. Today is Monday and yesterday we went to Ikea because we have been sleeping on a mattress on the floor and it has been driving me insane. And Jay has like, finally, he was like, I don't care what you get, just get a bed. So I've been kind of like shopping around trying to find like the perfect bed. And I've been having the hardest time trying to find one that like, I really, really like that's not super expensive. I just figured we'd go to Ikea and just pick up a bed. So we went to Ikea yesterday and we got a bed. We got a couple of dressers because I'm still lacking storage and I have clothes everywhere and it's driving me insane. Um, we also picked up a trash can, which I will show you. We got some really great under the bed storage systems or things and we got some super cute Christmas wrapping paper. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys all of the stuff that we got from Ikea. Also today's video is sponsored by Dossier and Dossier is a super awesome company that has a ton of different um, perfumes that are based on well-known scents like Gucci, Hugo Boss, like all of the name brands that we all know and love. But the great thing about these perfumes are that they are cruelty free, which makes me super happy because it's really hard to find cruelty free perfumes. They are also a lot more affordable. So it's really been awesome. I've actually got a few different ones in my collection. This is the second time that I'm working with them and they are such a great company. And the scents smell exactly like the name brand ones that I actually have. So it's really, really cool. And you can find a lot of different scents on there. So I do have a coupon code for you guys. That's gonna save you guys 10% off of your order. And basically the box comes to you with the full size product as well as a sample like a tester you can try out that tester sample if you don't like the tester and you're like this actually is not the scent that I like you're gonna send the entire thing back you're not gonna ch be charged anything and you're out no money if you get the tester sample and you think actually this is really lovely then you are you know obviously charged for the full size of the bottle, which you guys will see in the next thing. Also, I have a cat here floating around on my face and it's annoying me so much. Most of the scents retail for $39 or $29, or you can buy like numerous ones at a time and let me just show you or tell you what those are. So if you buy two, you get it for from $58. If you buy three, it's from $69. If you buy four, it's from $89. And if you buy five, it's from $109. And then you get free shipping if you buy three or more. If you buy two, it's $9 shipping. They have women's, men's, and unisex scents. I'm just gonna tell you a, some, like some of them. I'm just looking at the website right here. So a few that they have right now is Le Labo Fragrances Cental 33, Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt, um, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon's Baccarat Rouge, Yves Saint Laurent Libre. Ooh, actually, I just saw, I just saw that perfume. Tom Ford's Metallique or Metallique, Lancome's Idol, Tom Ford Lost Cherry, Chanel's Chance. So they have a ton of different ones to choose from, and they literally smell exactly like it, and they're only. 29 or $39, so super duper affordable. That's for 50 ml, and you do get that little tester that you can try out before you open the actual bottle. The bottle must not be opened if you wanna return it and get all of your, or you know, not be charged. So just keep that in mind. But in the next clip, we're gonna go ahead and take a peek, and you guys can see it comes with a little card telling you the notes, what the fragrance is inspired by as far as like the name brand, and it just gives you all the information. So huge thank you to Dossier. I'll put a link in the description box. I will put that coupon code down below so that you guys can save some money. I've been wearing the ones that I got, which I, you'll be seeing in the next clip so much. I absolutely love them. They are fabulous. And um, I've gotten a lot of compliments when I've worn them. So highly recommend them. Great Christmas gifts as well. I'm already thinking about the holidays, which is so pathetic since we just got into October. But if you guys are thinking about the holidays too, these are such a great gift, especially if you're shopping for someone who is cruelty free, because these are cruelty free and it's so difficult to find scents that are not or so, so I'm sorry that are cruelty free. So this is a great option. So now let's go ahead and see what I got from Dossier. Okay, so they come in this cute little box and it just says Dossier. And when you open it up inside, it will tell you kind of all the details about the brand. So they're made in France, they're vegan and cruelty free, clean ingredients and risk free order. And that's what I love about Dossier is that it's really hard to find perfumes that are cruelty free. Most of them that you know and love are um, tested on animals. So 
that is why I fell in love with this brand. And then, you know, the fact that their perfumes smell exactly like the ones that you're trying to find a cruelty-free dupe for is even better. So then when you open up the package, you get this little, like, kind of card right here. And this tells you all the information that you need to know about your specific scent. So this one is the Floral 4, and it's inspired by Chanel's Gabriel. And this one, or Gabrielle, sorry. So this one's notes are Mandarin, Grapefruit, Neroli, Cassis, Bergamot, Tuberose, Jasmine, Orange Blossom, Sandalwood, and White Musk. And they all come with a cute little sample. So if you want to try out the scent, um, you try the scent out first on the sample right here. It's always stuck with a little sticker. And it will tell you what's going on here. There we go. Um, I'm just going to stick that on there. It'll tell you what it is, so floral four. Oh, I just messed that up, didn't I? Gosh darn it. Um, and then you test out this sample. And if you don't like it, then you're able to return the package with the, fi with the 50 milliliter bottle and you will get a full refund. But if you do like it, then you obviously, you know, pay for the actual full size bottle. And the returns are free, no questions asked. So that's really cool. And then this is the actual packaging of the... Scent. This is what it looks like. So it's a nice chic bottle. It's just a nice glass, like, you know, very simple. And then it has the white label that just says the notes, which I think is really cool that the notes are right on the bottle because that makes it really easy for my job when I'm showing you guys perfumes and I need to like look up the notes. Usually I have to Google it. Whereas with this, it's like literally right on the bottle. And then it says floral number four. So I always do recommend keeping the, um, the little card, that way you know what it's actually a dupe for, if you want to know, you know, so I always just recommend keeping the little card and then that's what it looks like on the back. And then you can of course get rid of the little box and then you've got a little sample size for your purse as well, which is awesome. So that is the Chanel's Gabrielle. This one's quite fresh actually, it's very like... Um, kind of fruity and fresh and kind of crisp and clean. And then this is the other one I got. So this is the Dossier Floral 2. So the top notes are Rangoon Creeper, the middle notes are Jasmine, Sandback, and Tuberose, and the base notes are Iris. And the inspiration behind this one is Gucci Bloom. And you guys, this smells amazing. I absolutely love this one. I have been using it already. Again, I got the little sample size, which is currently in my purse somewhere. It's a very floral scent. It's kind of got like a bit of a, let me just spray it so I can tell you exactly what it smells like. Yeah, so it's quite sweet, but like very floral. It kind of reminds me of the Michael Kors actually. It definitely has, like you can definitely smell the jasmine in there. It's just like really lovely, very kind of like beach, like kind of beachy flowery. It's really nice. So I love this one. I would say this one's probably my favorite. I'll spray the other one on my other arms so that we can have a sniff. Okay, I'll let that waft. Okay, so now that I'm smelling them together actually, um, the Floral 4, which is the Chanel's Gabrielle, actually has a bit more spice to it. It's got like a more of a kind of, um, kind of like a musk, a spice, and then you can kind of smell the orange and the grapefruit. So it's definitely more kind of like a, a spicy fruit. So it's actually really good for fall. Um, I would say this one's probably a little bit more appropriate for spring, summer, but I will wear flower all year round. It doesn't matter to me. That one smells really amazing. It's kind of like a mixture of, it's like Michael Kors mixed with the Rosie Jane one that I love, but it's amazing. So both of them are really, really nice, very different. Definitely this one is a little bit more spicy. That one's definitely more floral. Um, but yeah, those are Dossier and I absolutely love them. I highly recommend you guys give them a go. If you are looking for cruelty-free dupes for any of your favorite perfumes, they have a ton of different dupes to choose from and they are just such a beautiful little bottle. The first items I got from Ikea are these gorgeous little dressers. These are by Mom. Um, I actually got two and just stuck them right next to each other to kind of make it look like one. You can buy a full on like long one, but I just ended up buying two because I was gonna use them as nightstands. They ended up being a little bit too big for nightstands. So I just put them in here as a dresser. And that is what I'm gonna be storing my makeup in um, because obviously my beautiful storage system that we custom built in our old house stayed with the house and yeah. Um, so I, st I currently don't have any of my makeup unpacked because I have nowhere to put it. So this is going to be perfect 
because I can put all my makeup in here. Well, not all of it, but some of my makeup in here and they look really cute. This I've actually had for a while, this mirror. This is, I don't actually know what this is called. I'll link it for you guys. They have this lighter color one. They have one that's like a kind of a darker one. That's kind of like a walnut stain. Um, so yeah, I really like this mirror. I think it's really cute and I love the way it looks. And this is where I'm gonna be storing all of my perfume once I unpack it. Next are these um, wrapping paper rolls. So this has got little snowflakes and then hearts and then like little kind of gingerbread men. It looks like almost like Christmas cookies or something. And my camera does not want to focus. There we go. And um, yeah, they're really cute. They just like on brown paper with the little white decor. Um, and then these storage boxes are awesome. They're only, I think they were like $8.99 and they are basically just to go underneath a bed. Um, and they are humongous. Like they have so much storage. Also do not mind the mess. Like literally my life is a hot mess right now. Like I just have given up to be honest. I'm trying to start, I'm trying to juggle so much that I cannot seem to get anything done and it's really frustrating, but I will be fine. Um, so yeah, these are really big. We actually got four of them and they are just awesome for like storing, um, you know, summer stuff or winter stuff or blankets, extra bedding, anything like that under the bed. And for the price, you cannot beat them. And then they just zip open like this. And then you've got all that storage inside. So they're really, really great. Okay, then we have this trash can. This was 40 bucks, you guys. Trash cans are expensive. And most of the time they're not that cute. I really wish that the just the top wasn't stainless steel because I really don't like the way stainless steel looks, but hmm, what can you do? Um, but the actual like base is that cream color and it's really, really pretty. And it's just like that little circular trash can shape. And for, I think it was 40 bucks exactly. You cannot beat the price. It is amazing. Okay, we also got this bed. This is the Hemnes bed. Um, we got it in a king and we also bought the under storage or the under the bed storage because we have like hardly any storage um and i have a lot of stuff so this is a little bit noisy to be honest when you're sleeping on it it does kind of make a lot of creaks so just keep that in mind don't know if it's my favorite thing in the entire world but it is cute and it was very affordable so it'll work um, and then this is the under the bed storage. So they just kind of slide in right underneath the bed. There's a small one on that side and then you get the big long one. So we figured we'd put the biggest one on the end here. And I have, oh, it's already catching. I need to like make this not so high, I think, cause this is what's gonna happen, isn't it? Every time I open it. Basically on one side, I have pajamas and then I was gonna put sheets on this side, but I might have to put a couple pajamas over there as well. But then they're on wheels, so they just kind of like glide open and shut. So that's really handy. We got them on both sides. That way Jay can have PJs on his side and have um, sheets over there. And then we can put stuff. The only annoying thing is like, because you have a nightstand, you can't get to that one very easily. So that's kind of stuff for stuff that's like, you know, maybe put your like swim stuff when it's winter time and then your snow stuff when it's summer times because you're not going to get to it very often but it does give you extra storage if you all if you are in a small house that doesn't have a lot of storage or closet space this is definitely something that would be beneficial you can actually raise this up so that you can make the mattress higher if you want to or lower there are three different settings which i think is pretty handy um what are you doing you're ruining my pillows crazy doggy um, but yeah, so that is the bed. Okay, so next Ikea piece is this one. This is the Hemnes. Um, and this is the tallest dresser that you can get from the Hemnes collection. And it is so great, you guys. It has so much storage. The drawers are super big. You have this big one in the middle here, or I guess it's kind of top, um, that fits so much stuff. So like, check that out. I have so much room still. I have socks and underwear and bras and everything in here and it is so much space. These ones are kind of more shallow, so they're good for like kind of, I don't know, I suppose you could put socks and underwear in here too, but they're a little bit more shallow. And then these ones um, are still, like they still fit a ton of stuff. 
like in here I have all of my sweats and stuff so they're really great they're very smooth they close really really nicely so yes I absolutely love these I think they're great it's nice and tall it's white and it matches with the bed which has currently got stuff all over it but um, this is actually the white stain whereas the dresser is just the plain white but they didn't have the white in the bed and they didn't have the white stain in the dressers so I kind of had to just improvise and like honestly you really cannot tell the difference when it's like if you get up close obviously you could I've noticed that the white stain is a little bit more sheer you can kind of see the wood through versus this is like straight up white it's also very smooth and it's much easier to clean so I think personally I would prefer everything to just be white because you can easily wipe it off and it's like no nothing stains it whereas with this you can get it can get um it's not quite as silky smooth so it can get kind of more fingerprinty or dirt stains easier so that would be my only complaint about the white stain versus the white what are you doing come here hi how are you kitty cat you like the bed don't you yeah you like it now that there's a bed here because you can jump up there Okay, next Ikea piece is this mom dresser. So this is the one that we originally had in our bedroom. And um, when I got it, it didn't really match the wood that was in our bedroom. So we ended up going with the Hemnes instead. And then I thought that this was perfect for this room. So this one is awesome. You have two smaller drawers up at the top here, which are actually great for like underwear and stuff. But then you have four drawers here they're a little bit more shallow and not quite as wide as the hemnes but they do still fit quite a lot of um ones in there and then there's no knobs on these so it's just like very simple i really like this and it goes with like all of my bamboo stuff so that is ikea item number who knows what okay guys and then last but not least is this dresser so this is the hemnes as well um it is the three drawer versus the what is that? One, two, three, four, six drawer. So it's a little bit shorter, still just as wide. The drawers are massive. It fits a ton. Here's my pajamas. Like it fits a lot. These drawers are awesome. So it's really nice and big. It gives you a lot of extra storage. It is nice and white and it looks really pretty. And then on the top, this is just how I've styled it. So I have my Moroccan picture here, which I love. And then I've got a little plant that's actually from Ikea as well. The pot I think is from TJ Maxx, maybe Marshall's. Um, that was a gift from a friend. The little piggies are from Michael's. This was a, a thrift store find. That's from Vera shop. That was from TJ Maxx. That is obviously just an aloe plant that you can just get from, like you can get the pots from Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. Um, I cannot remember where I got this little tray from, and then that is where I keep my little Mooshu pork. Her ashes are in this box. It's actually really pretty. I miss Moo so much. I just love her, and I miss her, and I wish she was here. But anyway, that is my last Ikea piece. So there you guys go. There is my Ikea haul. I will link everything down below that we picked up from Ikea. Um, I spoke about this on my Instagram stories, this bed is it comes with the Leroy, I think is how you say it, um, slats. And they are so loud because they're floating. They don't actually screw down. So we actually ended up screwing ours down because our bed was so loud that I could not sleep. And I was getting so frustrated and angry. <laughs> so um, Jay actually screwed all of the slats down. So I highly recommend either you do that. I saw a lot of people that used Velcro. They had DM'd me and said that they Velcroed it down. So keep that in mind if you are gonna buy this bed. It is so cute, but if you get it, with those slats, it will be so noisy. Every time you move in the bed, you will hear like a right, 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 you know, noise, and it's horrible. So either screw it down, or Velcro it down, or figure something out, or maybe do a different slat because the slats are poop. Um, but now that Jay has screwed everything down, the bed is silent. It's great. We we sleep so much better. But um, I just wanted to like put that out there just in case you guys get the bed and then you're like, what the crap, Sam? Why did you recommend this? It is so loud if you don't screw those slats down so just keep that in mind don't forget to go and check out the dossier perfumes they are so beautiful guys they smell so yum and they are so affordable so i will leave that link in the description box huge thank you again to dossier for partnering up with me for this video so definitely be sure to check them out and uh, see if they have your favorite scents 
and I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye!